being in nature, whether it be for a couple of hours to a couple of days, has mega benefits on our overall health and wellness, specifically our nervous system. Um, our immune system gets a nice strengthened boost and renewal. It also helps to prevent things like heart disease. It reduces muscle tension. Um, it also reduces the stress hormones that our bodies produce. All of this from just a couple of hours in nature. Air up here is so much different than the air that we're used to breathing on a daily basis in the city. And so just being in nature, um, taking some nice mindful deep breaths and i'm not talking about you know a regular deep breath for those of you who do breath work you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about taking those such a deep breath that you're literally going to the base you're reaching the air that's been stagnant at the base of your lungs and you're exhaling it all out your next breath is naturally going to be very deep right because you've just essentially breathed out the air that's been hanging out in your lungs and this forces your this forces your body in its next large breath in to take in the beautiful air that fresh crisp oxygen that's being offered all around us without um, the pollution that we would see in the city and so these deep breaths in and of themselves have been known to dramatically strengthen our immune system there's also many emotional benefits to being in nature. It's as if Mother Nature has provided us with the perfect reset button on our mindsets. All we got to do is show up, I'll push the button, and breathe in nature. <laughs> it's not that simple, of course, but the idea is that being in nature just has this way of forcing us to slow down. You know, even if we're, I find that even the two hour drive up to our cottage, my mind is still sort of, for the first part of the drive anyways, my mind is sort of still in that, in that go, go, go mode. You know, I'm going down the mental checklist in my head. Did I remember to bring everything? Did I pack everything? Um, what's the weather gonna be like? Um, what am I gonna make for supper? I have all the, all the checklists of all the things that I need to do once I get here, right? To set up the beds and put all the food away. Um, as I get closer to the cottage, I feel my mind start to relax. Now, this is over time of coming up to the cottage. We've been coming up to our cottage now for 10 years. Um, and so my mind knows, you know, my body knows that I'm about to be in nature. I'm about to slow things way down for a couple of days. And so my body has gotten used to this routine and can slow down a lot faster. But the first couple of times we came up, my checklist in my mind were going at a, at a, at a really fast speed probably the entire drive. But once we got here and we unpacked and I took that first step out on our lawn over to the dock, I put my feet in the water, all those lists, all that stress that I had been feeling getting here quickly dissipates. And I've come to really appreciate that and I've come to look forward to it and I've even come to rely on it as part of my practice. That's why I try to get up here um, as regularly as we can, you know, uh, while leading very busy lives in the city. We do try to make it a priority to get up here every so often because the balance of city life and country life have become invaluable to our family. I see it in my kids. You know, my boys are typical nine and 11 year olds in the sense that they want to be on their video games. They want to watch YouTube. Um, they're, they're used to their routine at home. And so every time we make this shift and we decide to come up here, it takes a little convincing, especially my 11 year old. He's, he's, you know, he does a little bit of that of complaining and he's not always so excited and enthusiastic about getting here, but I'm going to flip the, the video for you so that you can see Once we get here and he's had some time to accept the fact that we are spending a few days in nature, he benefits. My kids are growing up um, understanding that you know, balance is very important in our, in our daily lives. And while there's place for routine, um, there's also got to be a place for allowing ourselves some time to be away from it all, to reboot in a sense. And I can't think of a better place to do that than right here in nature. Whether you're going for a hike in the forest, um, you're swimming in a lake, you're, you're uh, going on a boat, you're making a fire. These are all uh, activities that bring a sense of calmness to our bodies. And 
I've come to realize over the last couple of years that giving yourself, allowing yourself time um, to breathe in that calmness, to open yourself up to the gift of the moment, being mindful, calming it down, slowing it down, pressing a pause button, pressing the reset button. This is so vital to our overall health and wellness. It is the largest gift that you can give yourself. So I can't let a whole video about the benefits of being in nature go by without mentioning the practice of grounding. Grounding is one of my very favorite practices to do. You don't need beautiful scenery like this to get the benefits of grounding in either. You could do it in your backyard, your front lawn, anywhere where the, the soles of your feet can have contact with the earth for at least, I'd say, 20 minutes at a time. And there's many benefits to grounding. It reduces stress. It reduces inflammation. It helps promote better sleep. Um, boost your overall immune system. There are many benefits to it. And I particularly love to do it when I've had a day uh, in front of screens, whether my computer or my phone for work. Um, if I've been on the go all day, if I've just felt very like high, strong and stressed out, I can't think of a better thing to do to balance that out um, than taking off my socks and shoes and walking barefoot in my backyard for a few moments. I, it's also become a go-to practice for me when I'm overthinking something. If there's something specific that's been on my mind for a bit that I'm having trouble processing um, or accepting uh, or surrendering, I will often walk in my backyard barefoot and you know, it doesn't always give me the magical answers I'm looking for, but I definitely feel calmer when doing it. And the idea is that in feeling calmer, right, you're more likely to hear your inner guide, your inner, we're, we hear our inner guides when we're, when we're at peace, when we're calm, when we're able to calm the ego enough to let our inner voices shine through. So for me, the benefits of being here in nature is all about disconnecting from my daily life, disconnecting from our schedule, um, reconnecting with myself and reconnecting as a family, which um, is, so, is so important to me. I have so much gratitude for being able to have this time um, and being aware of just how important it is, not just for our physical health, but for our mindsets as well. Because we're, it's not just about what we do as individuals, but it's about what we are able to do um, connected with others. And your family are your soul tribe. You know, they are your people. And what better people to do amazing things with than your soul tribe. And so um, that's some of what the cottage has come to mean to me. Uh, it's, it's also time for me to appreciate and feel gratitude for the nature around me. I love starting my mornings with a meditation here on the dock. Uh, if it's a windy morning, even better because I feel like there's something so powerful about feeling the wind sort of almost, pa it's almost this feeling of passing through you as you are sitting there in such a surrendered state. Um, and while I am aware as a, as a coach, I am aware of the amazing physical health benefits that my family and I are reaping being here and being outside. Um, the mindset shifts, the being able to just press pause on our daily life and reset on our, on our mind, body, soul connection is truly priceless. So my recommendation for all of you today is to go get out in nature. Uh, whether it's with a loved one or on your own, go breathe in some fresh, crisp oxygen. And if you're able to do it, leave your cell phones at home. If you like this video, please click like, share it with anyone you think it would serve. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And in the comment section below, tell me what your relationship with nature is. Have you seen any of your health issues improve by being out in nature? Also, any comments or questions you have for me, put them in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to them.